What's shaking, everyone? I'm John Ferguson, and welcome to the Teak Life Cantina Bar for a brand spanking new episode of Something New. It's about to get very luxurious here in the Teak Life Cantina. Yes, you can see. It's very, very, very rare that we get something just so exquisite. And this is a brand that we've had on multiple previous episodes. What in the world am I talking about? What brand? It's right here. There is a kid, maybe several kids out there on YouTube, and they are doing unboxing videos, and they are making millions of dollars for their parents to embezzle out of them. This is true. We're going to do an unboxing, but what's the brand we're talking about? Gran Diamante Tequila. Yes, we've had it on. We've had the Plata. We've had the Reposado. We've had the Añejo. So what's left? Let's do the unboxing where I can make millions of dollars. Let's do the grand reveal. Gran, Gran Diamante, get it? Look at this, look at that. Oh, I know you're jealous at home. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? So right off the bat, I am seeing a problem. There is an issue. I can't see what I'm doing, so I gotta actually turn it this way and I don't want to block anything. We're going to try to do this. I'm taking it out. Wow. This is regal. This is magnificent. This is a top shelf, ultra premium tequila. This is like the Louis Vuitton of tequilas. So if you're walking through the mall one day and you see a guy, you know, walking around with this under his arm, it's because it's the Louis Vuitton of tequilas bottle we are going right into the presentation because there's really just so much to talk about it's very classy it's very sleek one of the things is blue is is really one of my favorite colors now there's different shades of blue this it's like a royal blue it's a deep beautiful majestic blue and just everything i'm, I'm trying to let you pick up everything you know it's like Beautiful. It's got the logo in here. The the Diamante stands for diamond. I, I think I don't know But it's got that logo on the front. This is just very exquisite. This is just an unreal presentation This is something like if somebody walks in they see it on your bar They see it on the mantle. They see it, you know in front of the fireplace all sexy and cozy They're gonna talk about it, but this is not a cheap tequila by any means. This is an extra Añejo, and it's very, very few and far between that we get any EAs on our platform. When I talk about EA, I'm not talking about EA Sports, but we are going to do a sport, and it's called drinking. As you can see, the color, the accents, it all matches. So this, these are the finer points that you're looking for. When you're looking for a luxury brand, you want to see something that's just so exquisite. This blue, wow. Now, it's, it is wow. It's like Post Malone would say, wow. But look at that. I do not let many people try this brand. Look at this. I'm saving it, but you can see it just stands out. Now, what I like about the brand is they do these color offsets, you know, so the, the, the Plata is silver. Reposado is a different so you kind of get the point but when they came out with blue I think this is just so unique and different back to the bottle it's frosted it is very heavy I would probably say full <laughs> do you hear that this is probably a good five-ish pounds or something like that they still got the Aztec sundial I guess that's what that is it's really beautiful I really love the way that it shines you know and and just really stands out on this against this blue and then they have the diamonds around here they've actually won an award from the beverage testing institute for best design and i'll tell you what hands down this is this really is one of the best design tequila brands out on the market presentation is great and all that however it does come down to the juice it's what's in the bottle and as beautiful as all of these you know accents and details that they have and i even like that because it makes it easy to hold it's you know like this again it's not cheap this is really a hefty price point before i peel this tape off and i don't know if it can be picked up but it's like an agave so the tape holding this on 
I, I left it on here on purpose because I really wanted to try to pick it up before I pull it off because, oh, no, it still stays intact. But we're going to do a pour because it's an extra Añejo. I want to let this breathe for a good three to five minutes. We're not wasting anything. It's, you know, this is a heavy tap. Look at that. It's metal, people. It's all about the detail. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It was like I opened up a vault. You know, remember when Geraldo Rivera opened up that? We ain't going to go to his mistake. This is much, much better. So we have the Teak Life Tasting Flute. I think it's only proper that we, we taste it the appropriate way. Let's let it breathe. Come on, open up. Let's get all of those flavor tones. So this is a Highland Agave Tequila. 100% Blue Weber Agave Nam 1460. And when I looked at the Nam, there's actually quite a few good brands that come out of this distillery. So, but I've, I've had their others before and they're all phenomenal. Color, oh, nice golden golden yellow like a, a wheat uh, straw in you know the light of this immaculate studio we have here i'm seeing like a little bit of burnt orange being picked up but it's just really really nice so this is aged 48 months in french oak barrels let me repeat that 48 months Seven-ish years to grow agave and then 48 months resting in a barrel plus a distillation This is something you don't want to rush into you want to appreciate Every aspect of this juice, but let's go into aroma oh. Okay, what I'm picking I'm picking up some oak that French oak is really busting through I can really really tell I got some agave going on some deep down into it. I'm not getting a lot of those ethanol vapors. So the distillation process, it's probably twice distilled. It's 80 proof. Um, and with that distillation process, you know, you're really cutting out the heads and the tails. So that way you're getting the purity in the middle of that juice, which is really nice. And not, you know, those alcohol vapors. Oh, I'm getting some chocolate. There's definitely some chocolate rising up now. You know, I don't know if anybody does this at home, but you should. I do it at the bar all the time. I know people think I'm weird, but I really don't care. I do me, but oak, I'm getting some chocolate, a little bit of baking spices in, and it's probably resonating from those French oak barrels. Wow, a little bit of toffee, you know, just a little bit of, a little bit of that sweetness, and that chocolate is really nice. Nice agave, a little bit of citrus. I'm picking up some of that citrus oil. And I was talking about like burnt orange in the color, something going on, but this, we've, we've talked too long. Wow. Oh, that is unique. A little bit of those baking spices are shining through. I smell chocolate. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate, but that French oak, 48 months, you're really picking it up. So French oak is a little bit more savory. You get a little bit of spice from those barrels and it creates kind of a silky smooth, you know, uh, type of texture when you're drinking. So there is some body, it's very light, but the agave is slow cooked in autoclaves upwards of 14 hours. They use artesian well water during the fermentation process. Now the fermentation process is not rushed whatsoever. Open air fermentation, about 14 days, but if it's not ready at 14 days, they let it sit for another day or two. They use copper pots to distill this fine tequila. And I'm telling you fine already because it's got some uniqueness to it. I don't know if I've tasted any other tequila quite like this to date. Round two. Oh man, there is a lot of levels to this. There are definitely, didn't Drake say there's levels to this ish? I'm not going to swear, you know, the kids might be watching, but there is definite sweet agave rising up. It's almost like you're catching some of those properties from the volcanic soil that the agave is growing in. 
It's got a very, very distinct lightness to it. It's airy, it's crisp. It's not something that's really heavy. Um, from what I understand, there's no additives. For, so for you people at home playing along on your bingo card that you're trying to find another one that has no additives, this is another brand that I read has no additives. But that chocolate, it's like a, a dark, not like a, a, a 50, 60% cacao. It, it, it's really like bittersweet cacao. I, I don't know. Very unique. I, I got to go in for number three. Three. Oh, man. Whew. Okay. Here we go. I'm picking up like tobacco leaves. And I know, I don't chew tobacco leaves, I don't smoke, I don't, but I, I know that property. I, I, this ain't my first rodeo, son. I'm also picking up some leather. And I don't chew leather either, but you know when you walk through like that leather store, what was it, Wilson's back in the day, and, and you, you smell leather and you taste it because it's just all around you. I'm telling you, that's what I'm picking up. So agave, tobacco, some leather, there's a lingering baking spice on the back end, a tiny hinge, hinge, just one hinge. Can't open the door that good. Um, butterscotch, like a very, very unique baked butterscotch. It is, it is super wild. There's an earthiness to it, but what I really like about it is it's taking on those French oak properties and just transferring it very, very nicely. They've won some awards. It's about to be another one or two or three coming their way. Wow, that's regal. That that age, you know, 48 months is really doing it justice. You're getting a lot of nice body to it. But like I said, it's not heavy whatsoever. So light smoke, just, just a little bit of that light smoke. So I'm wondering with those French oak barrels, are they virgin? Are they toasted? Do they have a little bit of char? Because it's really resonating fantastically. But I wanna put like a bottle light. You know those lights you can put right there and it's just gonna shine? Like when I'm at the club, I don't want sparklers on something like this. You better put a bottle light and be holding it like this walking through the club. This is a presentation. It demands attention. So my glass is down to the down down and that wraps up another episode of something new here in the Teak Life Cantina. Grand Diamante, their entire portfolio is 100% Teak Life approved. I recommend, look, if we're just going to bring this right here. I'm telling you, a bottle light, man coming up with some stuff here but 100 percent 110 percent teak life approved it is one of my favorite brands if you want to see what's coming up on future episodes be sure to follow us on social media facebook instagram and twitter we always show what's going on if you want to hit me up if you want to recommend something or if you want to get your amazing brand right here where it could hurt somebody hit that email Life's too short to drink bad liquor. Choose wisely. I do not drink bad liquor. We'll see you on the next episode. We got some drinking to do.